ഹലോ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ടുഡേ വിഷ് ടു ടോക്ക് ടു യു അബൌട്ട് യൂസ് കേസ് ഡയഗ്രാം ഇൻ സോഫ്റ്റ്വെയർ എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് ഐ തിങ്ക് മോസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് യു ആർ ഫെമിലിയർ വിത്ത് യൂസ് കേസ് ഡയഗ്രാം ആൻഡ് യു നോ ദി പെർപ്പസ് ഓഫ് യൂസ് കേസ് ഡയഗ്രാം ഈസ് ടു ക്യാപ്ചർ ദി ഡയനാമിക് ആസ്പെക്ട് ഓഫ് എ സോഫ്റ്റ്വെയർ സിസ്റ്റം ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് യൂസ് ടു ഗ്യാദർ ദി റിക്വയർമെൻറ്റ്സ് ഓഫ് എ സിസ്റ്റം ഇൻക്ലൂഡിംഗ് both internal as well as external influences especially design requirements so when a system is analyzed to gather its functionalities use cases are to be prepared and actors have to be identified when the initial task such as requirement gathering is completed the next important step is to model a use case diagram it is mostly used to present a bird eye view of the system is used to analyze the requirements of the system and model to present the outside view bird eye view and identify the external as well as internal factors which are influencing the system and the interaction among different actors and used to capture the functionalities what are the modules we are using in the system and modeling the basic idea behind the system here are some tips for drawing a use case diagram a use case diagram should be as simple as possible it should be very simple anybody can understand by seeing that diagram and a use case diagram should be complete it should uh, it should be complete and it should represent all interaction with the use case if there are too many use cases or actors then essential part has to be represented and it should describe at least a single module of a complete system and if uh, if the use case is large then it should be generalized here is a simple example here the student teacher are two actors and the use cases are five use cases or functionalities are here check attendance check time table check test score update attendance update score the student is connected to Mm, three modules three three use cases he can see he can check the attendance uh, and he can he or she can check time table he or she can check uh, their test score and a teacher can do all these five things a uh, teacher can check attendance check time table check test score and uh, also other than that uh, he can update the attendance or he or she can update the, the score and uh, this is the overall view of the use case diagram in unified modeling la- language uml this is the system boundary this rectangle represents the system boundary then actress uh, actors are the, uh, here actress represented by this simple cellular phone is an actor and external phone company is an actor and a customer is also an actor then this is system and uh, three use cases are here handle messages handle call and manage bill then cellular for using cellular phone uh, he can uh, handle messages uh, send and receive messages both receive both messages and call and it is connected to external phone company and a customer can manage he can pay his bill so these three are use cases and the notation description is depicted here and then actor is represented by this symbol actor means uh, someone interacts with the use case or functionality it is named by a noun actor plays a plays a role in that business and is, uh, it is similar to a user but a user can have uh, more other functionalities rather than this actor for example a professor can be an instructor or and also he can be a researcher that is he is playing two roles with the two systems two are uh, different systems and actor triggers the use cases 
ATO has responsibility towards the system, he has responsibility uh, towards the inputs, also towards the outputs. What are, that is, he is expecting something from the system. And use case is represented by the ellipse symbol. That is system function. What are the modules? And named by verb plus noun or noun phrase. That is, it is do doing something. Uh, each actor must be linked to the use case, while some use cases may not be linked to actors. And communication link is represented by solid line or solid link. That is participation of an actor in a use case is represented by solid link. And the boundary is represented by rectangle entire system. It is potentially the entire system as defined by the requirement document. And for large and complex systems, each module may be having some system boundary. For example, uh, enterprise resource planning for an enterprise resource planning there should be uh, some personal information and uh, payroll then module is having accounting for these all sub modules they are having uh, separate boundary for the system then the entire system boundary can span all these modules and depict the overall system boundary and relationship is um, shown by this one extends it indicates the here indicates that the invalid password this login account is the parent case here this invalid password this one is the child case that is the tip of the dotted arrow mark represents the parent case and this one represents the child case uh, depict the directed arrow having the dotted line and tip of arrow head points to the base use case and the child use case is connected at the base of the this one the stereotype extends identifies as an extend relationship and this is also include relationship here the reverse uh, this one is the child and this one is the login is the parent Use case includes the functionality describing in another use case as a part of his business process flow. A uses relationship from base use case to child use case. Indicates that an instance of the base use case will include the behavior as specified in the child use case. The stereotype include identifies the relationship as an include relationship. Here is another example passenger service system. The actors are check-in representative or check-in inspector, then custom officer or custom of customs of destination airport and passenger baggage transportation. Here uh, five use cases check-in, automated check-in, express check-in, boarding, requesting passenger list. This private indicates that the check-in inspector can only check in this one check-in information the passenger can do if these four use cases and the custom officer can request the passenger list who are having baggage baggage transportations here is another example here five actors are here uh, actors are the student professor registrar and course catalog and a billing system this login use case um, the student can enter into the system using login professor can enter into the system using login registrar can also use the system using login and password and the student is having some other functionalities that is he can view report card or he or she can uh, register for courses for registering the courses he can uh, see the course catalog and the professor can log in then he can select the courses to teach for uh, selecting that course he can refer course catalog and professor can submit grades registrar can log in and registrar is the administrator and he can maintain professor information and maintain student information he can close registration after reaching the closing date then after closing registration the billing system um, enters so this is the simple examples for use case diagram. Thank you for watching.